let's say we have the following um, assets. We have Microsoft, AT&T, and General Electric uh, in a portfolio. And each of the assets has a respective standard deviation of 2% for Microsoft, 1% for AT&T. General Electric has uh, 4% uh, volatility or standard deviation. And the correlation between asset 1 and asset 2 is 0.3. Asset 1 and 3 is 0 0.1. And the correlation between asset 2 and asset 3 is 0 0.5. So if we know the standard deviations and the correlations, we can estimate what covariance is. In addition, we have uh, alpha uh, 1. The cash amount in asset 1 is 10 million. The cash amount in asset 2 is $5 million. And the cash amount in asset 3 is $8 million. So what we would like to do is to estimate, instead of making the calculation as illustrated here, uh, to calculate uh, the variance of the portfolio and the standard deviation of the portfolio and ultimately the value at risk. What we'd like to estimate here initially is the variance covariance matrix based on, based on the information that we have here. And we'd also like to construct a set of weights for alpha 1, alpha 2, Alpha tree. In other words, take these cash amounts and convert into weights. So let's try that. To estimate the respective weights of each of the assets, we can take the sum of the three cash amounts. And then divide the each of the respective cash amounts. By the total, and we F4 to lock the cell reference. Pull across and sum again just to verify that the weights add to 1. Okay, and we have weights equal to 1. Next thing we would like to do is to construct the variance covariance matrix. So let's try that. So first of all, we look at the diagonal, uh, the diagonal on the variance covariance matrix. So we could consider the diagonal. And to get the variance, we take uh, the standard deviation and square. And likewise, for the second asset, we square and for the third asset we also square. So the standard deviations get converted into variances. And then to take the estimate the, to estimate the covariance we take the correlation between asset 1 and asset 2 and multiply it by the standard deviation of asset 1 multiplied by the standard deviation of asset 2. And likewise, to estimate the covariance between asset 1 and 3, we take the correlation between asset 1 and asset 3 and we multiply it by the, cover the standard deviation of asset 1 multiplied by the standard deviation of asset 3 and estimate the correlation between asset 2 and asset 3 or to estimate the covariance between asset 2 and asset 3 we take the correlation between asset 2 and asset 3 multiplied by the standard deviation of asset 1 multiplied by the standard deviation of asset Tree. Now, 
uh, because the variance covariance matrix is symmetric, this must be equal to this. And likewise, this cell must be equal to this. And this cell equal to this. To estimate the variance of the portfolio, we set out the weights again. So we could just copy and paste. Paste special values transpose hit correct hit OK and then to estimate the variance of the portfolio we can use this formulation that we used previously so that we have if you like we can take copy and paste Okay, so we have, to start with, we want to put multiply equal to m mult, and we already have the transpose of the weights, so we can go m mult again, and we multiply the weights. by the variance covariance matrix and in turn multiply the product of these two by the weights again. Close brackets, control, shift, return and we have the variance of the portfolio to estimate or we have, yes, the variance of the portfolio to estimate the standard deviation. We take the variance and take the square root, which can be accomplished by putting to the power of 0 0.5. And now we have 0 0.0184. If we multiply that, if we take this figure and multiply, by the sum of the cash amounts in the portfolio, so 23 million. We have 432,000, which is equivalent to the figure here of 0 0.424 uh, of 1 million. So in the representation, in the approach adopted here in the uh, calculation that we made, we use this uh, form formula in order to generate the variance of the portfolio, and the portfolio is um, each of the cash amounts given as 10, 5, and 8 are expressed in millions. So when uh, these amounts are expressed in terms of the formula. The standard deviation of the portfolio is 0.424 million, or equally here, if we round, would be uh, 423,910. So, this is the standard deviation of the portfolio. Um, and what ultimately we want to try to estimate is uh, the 10 day VAR at the 99% uh, confidence level. So, so far I haven't mentioned anything about level of confidence, but typically in, typically in valued risk type calculations, we are trying to estimate uh, value at risk at a particular level of confidence. Uh, to estimate the value at risk at the 99% level for 10 days, we take that standard deviation um, and we multiply it by 
uh, the square root of 10, so S Q R T, because it's the 10 day bar. And it's, this gets multiplied and turned by norms inverse I N V 0 0.99. And we convert that to uh, a cash amount. So we convert that to currency, and we can see that it's three million one hundred eighteen thousand, approximately what we have here. So what we have is the variance of the portfolio. We have the standard deviation. of the portfolio. We have the standard deviation as a cash amount when expressed in terms of the 23 million euros originally um, available for the investment. So standard deviation, cash amount. And we have the 10 day value at risk as the 99% confidence level. 